Hey guys, this is Tony with 3D Locksport, and today I'm going to do an update to the last video I did where I talked about my everyday carry. In the last video, my everyday carry pretty much became the Arbiter set from Covert Instruments. Um, but since then, I've gotten some more of their tools, and I think I have what is pretty much the most full-size pick set um, for everyday carry that is extremely comprehensive. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what it starts with is their Echelon pick set. Um, it comes in their Garrison case in this brown FDE kind of color. Uh, you can actually buy it in black online. I think I'll be getting it in black as well because I just like black better, but this works really well. I have their Covert Instruments logo patch on here, but the way that's really going to tie this all together is when they have their uh, PVC penning tray patches available. This will come off, that will go on, and that'll actually save me some safe, or space in the case, which I'll go over here in a second. But let's open this up and go through it because there is a ton to, to go through inside this case. So let's open this up. So what all do we have inside here? Well, it's gonna take a while to go through all of this, but we're gonna get it done. Let's actually start up top here so you can see what I'm carrying in this card slot. Uh, the first thing I have in here is their pocket pinning tray. It's a nice thin aluminum tray, but this is exactly what their PVC patch will look like. So if you can imagine, well, it's on the back side here, so let me close this back up real quick. Pretty much once that patch becomes available, this will just be here at all times. So that's gonna save me the thickness of this inside, which is gonna be a huge deal. Then up top, we also have the card slipper or the latch slipper card. I carry that up there because it fits in there perfectly and it's nice just to have on there, but it's kind of redundant with everything else that's inside the case, so not a big deal. Okay, let's go through whatever what else is in here. I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out. So the first thing I have is the Echelon pick set, which this is all of their you know, 20 thousandths picks. So there's the reach, the medium hook, the short hook, the quad and quint rakes. And then there's also this double peak rake, which I'll be showing a little bit more about here at the end of the video. And then these are all in 20 thousands, right? 20 thou. So what's important is I also wanna have the 25 thou. And the way I get away with doing that inside this small area is I also have their riv pick in here, which is their Genesis set in 25 thou it's just super compact. But however, if I like take the uh, short hook here, let me just open that up real quick. And I take this short hook and I put it against their full size short hook. It's the same size. You get just as much pick handle on this riv pick when it's extended as you do on their full set handle picks, which I absolutely love. So that way I have both 25 thou and 20 thou inside the set at all times. Let's move that up. Okay, then I have all the Arbiter set in here as well. So I have the Latch Slipper, which is right there, uh, the American or Padlock Bypass Tool, the Knife, both of the Decoders, the Notch Decoders, and then part of the Arbiter set comes with this, which is for single pin picking tubular locks. And with that, over here, we also have, get this out. Well, let me take these out first. So obviously I have the bottom of the keyway tension wrenches, tension tools right here. And then we have their tubular tension tool as well. So that goes nicely with this. Then up top here, I have the three ergo turners, which if I'm doing top of the keyway, it's almost always an ergo turner. That's just my preference. Uh, we have the Adams Wright bypass wire as well. And then we have their standard top of the keyway tension uh, pry bars. Uh, they come in 50 thou, 40 thou, 32 thou, and 25 thou. So those are all in there. Now, if we move on over to the left side of the case, uh, we have their commercial door hook tool. This is actually the full size one. Again, a lot of this is part of the, this is really just an echelon set, an arbiter set, and the riv pick mixed together. When you're looking at that, that's what this is. 
Um, and then another part of the echelon set was their dimple rake, which is also in there. Now this is where we're going away from the echelon and Genesis or Riff Pick set. And these are more of their tools that I actually found fit in here just fine. I have, so they have their ergo turners, which is nice, thin, and fits in here perfectly, but it's only three of the uh, comb picks. However, I have a full set of their comb pick set inside here in the full size. And uh, I was talking to lock picking lawyer and one of the benefits, so the ergo set, the ergo cones are amazing, especially if you're getting into lock sport and bypass on it because it's got a, a ledge on it that just stops it right at the edge of the padlock. So when you go in, you can't go in too far. However, some padlocks, uh, you need to go a little further, right? And the nice thing about these full size comb picks is they let you get that little bit extra if you need to on certain padlocks. So that full set fits in here. And then lastly, what I have is the jigglers and warded picks. So these are all the jigglers and warded picks um, for, from the Covert Companion. However, what I did is I just took them and put them on a tiny key ring. So I have these in here with all time. So I can just pull this out, hold it like this, and jiggle just like this if I wanted to. So it's nice to have all these in here. So I have all of that in full size inside their garrison set or gear garrison case, which again, I love this. I mean, it folds up in the back like this with a magnet. So you can actually have a standing pick case if you want that. Um, if you watch Alex the locksmith or with AW locksmiths, he takes this bad boy and slaps it up on the door all the time. So he has full access to these tools whenever he wants it. So this is absolutely one of my favorite cases of all time. But that's everything that is my everyday carry. And if you look at what's in my everyday carry now, it is immense. And I have all this and it fits in my front right pocket at all times. And again, I'll be thinning it out. Once I take this out, it'll take less of the thickness away from inside the case when I'm replacing my patch with the PVC pinning tray patch. Once that comes available, and then I'm gonna buy it right away. So anyways, that is what I have. I can't imagine much more that I would need on a daily basis for most of the common locks in North America that I'm gonna run into. And I'm never in a case where someone's like, hey, let's do some lock sport, and I can't. I literally have all this available. I mean, the only other tools that I have with me that aren't everyday carry are my leashy tools, which I carry in a uh, Maxpedition bag that has these little elastic loops on it. But then when I take that somewhere, this goes in that Maxpedition case. My tubular lock pick goes in that Max edition case. And then right next to that goes my flipper zero. So that's all of my, like, I'm going somewhere with intention kind of bag. But one thing I want to do really quick is show you um, how useful these tool, tools are. And I think it's really cool. Um, so I have the lotto lock from master lock, which we're all pretty much familiar with, uh, which it's a seven pin lock and it's got security pins in it. I got lucky with my bidding. Like it's not the best bidding in the world on this thing. But I was just messing around because I heard all these people raking open these locks, raping, raking open these locks. Uh, so I was messing around with this. So I'm going to take a 40 thou bottom of the keyway tension wrench here. I was messing around and I noticed that in the echelon set, there was the double peak rake in there. And I wanted to see, you know, is this useful? Because I really pointed it towards being uh, the idea of this pick is you can rake a higher security lock to like a false set and then single pin pick it from there. So I'm gonna do that right now and we're gonna see how well that goes. So here we go. No guarantees, but hopefully it goes well. So uh, the minute I put it in, I'm already in a false set. And you're gonna see the pick getting caught up a lot because it's getting stuck on the pin that's in a false set. So I'm just doing a, a mixture of rocking and actual raking until I feel myself in that deep false set, which I think I am right now. And I'm gonna switch over to my short hook in 20 thou. And I'm gonna go fishing for that pin now that is in that position. So let's see if we can find it. So I think it might be pin number two. Let me see here. I'm getting counter rotation. Oh, I slipped off of it. Give me a sec. Oh, it went, but that must not be the only one. So give me a second here. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna start raking it again. I'm really jammed up now. Okay. 
And you have to control your tension when doing this, otherwise uh, you're never gonna get your pick out of there. Okay, so let's try that again. Keep bumping the uh, camera with my hat, sorry about that. Pin one, okay, so pin two has definitely got some counter rotation happening on it. And there we go. Make sure I don't turn it too far so I don't get a rattle. But there we go. So I was able to rake it to a false set and then all I had to do was pick a single pin to get that spool pin out of there and it picked it open. So anyways, I absolutely love this. <laughs> I know it's a lot of tools and it seems like a lot, but I mean, it fits in here, which fits in my front jean pocket on a daily basis. So anyways, Take what you will, maybe you can take some of this, maybe you don't need all of this, but I am in absolute love with all these tools and the fact that I can carry this wide of a selection of tools in something this small. Anyways, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, leave them below. Comments, leave them below. I'm really close to my goal of 1,000 subscribers, so if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Please like the video to help that algorithm out, and I'll see you next time.